uh, I'm going to just show it to you. One second, let me just do it this way. And then I'm going to do what I do. So yeah, let me show you guys this right here. VR, VR overturned this, uh, this decision. Did you think because he didn't get the ball that this should have overturned the foul? By the way, this is on the halfway line. Do you think this doesn't mean anything or do you think this is a contact sport? Like, what do you guys think? Because in my opinion, this should not have been the thing that decided the game for us. Obviously, it wasn't, but it was a big decision in the first half. It was the opening goal. Martinelli scored, and I felt like we, we, were, we were robbed of that. It should have been a goal. I mean, at the time, I, I was like, how is this a foul? It's and I don't know if any of you have read or heard Arteta's post match because they told him afterwards that they felt it was a soft foul and that's why they gave it. And as much as I may disagree, I hear it because it's come from like almost from behind, if you like, from the side. But you know, as Arteta pointed out, when it happened to Sakharon uh, Mings in the penalty box, it's not it's not deemed a foul. So, you know, it's, it's, this is where it's frustrating because, you know, this whole fucking thing around soft fouls, hard fouls, foul, like football is still a contact, it's, it's still a, a relatively contact sport. So I feel like it was very soft, but what I'm looking for is more consistency overall, that where no matter where you are on the pitch, those kind of soft fouls, are they a foul or not? Because a soft foul implies a foul, but also implies it, that if the ref doesn't give it, you're okay with it. Because I guarantee if that led to like, if like take VAR away from it and just with the ref by itself, if that doesn't lead to a goal and like that, Ericsson's not rolling around on the floor like that. I'm sure everyone probably even forgets that's even a moment or a foul. So I mean, uh, that's, I don't know. I don't know. All right. What about, what about you, Gunnar Souls? What are you saying? <laughs> my frustration isn't that this is, I don't think it, I think it is a foul. Well, my frustration doesn't come to this decision. It comes to the inconsistencies within the Premier League as a whole. You know, last week, for example, Saka gets manhandled and they don't deem that to be a VAR-looking foul or situation, but they see this to be a situation which VAR needs to get involved with. So what does clear and obvious mean? That's the thing they need to now clarify because, to me, Mings is clear and obvious refereeing mistake. This wasn't, this is a 50-50. This could have been one day it goes for you, one day it doesn't go for you. You know, this is one of those ones where I wouldn't say it's a clear and obvious mistake from the referee. So why did VAR get involved? That's what I want to know. Because I thought they only get involved if it's a clear and obvious mistake from the referee. Unless rules have changed, unless things have changed in the last 24 hours that I'm not aware of, then fair enough. Then, you know, I'll concede to the point. But for me, yes, you know, in the grand scheme of things, the way he went in, obviously, knee-to-knee -knee contact. You know, when you look at the rules of the game, it's a foul. But to me, how, like, now they want an emergency meeting because West Ham got robbed. Now they want an emergency meeting because other teams are now starting to feel that VAR isn't good enough. When Arsenal, have been, when we as, fan, as a fan base have been screaming for two seasons when VAR was introduced, that it's still not good enough, nothing Ah, fuck it, it's Arsenal. But as soon as other teams now start to see these things accumulate, now we want the emergency meeting. It's bullshit. You know why I'm, I'm, I, I want this to happen? I want the referee on that fucking centre circle answering for every decision they make. Let us hear them. I don't give a shit what that results in an abuse or if that results in... Because you know why? They get paid in more than enough money. Now they have cameras. They can review all their decisions and they're still messing up. How? Before, do you know what? If there was no VAR, I'd be like with Taney, I'd be like, fair enough, human errors. But now you've got VAR and you're still making mistakes. There's got to be reasons to it. And we need to hear this. We need to bring in the rugby rule where we can hear why things are being said, why that went into VAR. Because even if you look at half time, the, even the pundits were confused to why that went to VAR and why that was given a foul. So it's not just us, it's people. Even Roy Keane said it wasn't a foul. Okay. Like to me, it is a foul. But if even United, like I know Roy Keane's a bit more impartial at times and he's a little bit more fair com in compared to most of the United representative but it's so confusing how the overwhelming ex-professionals have said we're not too sure why that was given also confuses me because it it now says to me unified 
fans, ex-pros are all confused. Even Michael Owen came out and said it. So we're all confused to why these things are going to bar. So it's not just fans that have no clue about the rules. It's people who have played and understand the rules. So it, I don't know anymore. I, I've, yeah, I've given why, why give a foul if you're unsure it's a foul? I 100% agree. And you know what? I was speaking to Terry about this because he's trying to make it seem like I'm saying the referees are, 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 are favoring United or the Man United. There's a conspiracy against Arsenal. No, I'm just calling it out. Did you guys not feel the same way? Or am I going crazy here? Because it almost seems like if I ever bring up referees, I'm crying wolf. But you can call out referees for booking Saliba, but on his first uh, foul or, or first um, uh, issue. But then the other guys, Lissandra Martinez literally almost injures somebody. Scott McTominay has to DDT people to get a yellow card. Like, it don't make sense. Like, I can tell by Colleen's face right now. That's how I feel. Like, it's like, I'm just holding my, I'm just thinking like, what the hell's wrong with it? And you know something, guys? I celebrated that Martinelli goal and it just deflated me when it didn't go out, when it didn't count. And when they scored, I was like, I, I don't know about you guys, but until Bakao Saka scored his goal, I was down for a bit. But yo, Saracen, you're going to say something? Bro, I, I, I'm still getting my head around that game. How do we lose it? I can't, I can't still understand how we lost that game. It, it almost feels like last season when we lost to Man United at Old Trafford as well. We were the better team. We didn't take our chances. Maguire got away with one then. This year, bro, I've got my, my little son. He wants a cat. Yeah, and I'm going to call him Christian Eriksen because what's another word for a cat, bro? The way that guy went down. Do you understand? Bro, it worked. for me, when a foul, Gary never go, oh, no, that's not a foul. Then he finds a little angle where the legs touch in slow motion. Bro, the game went on. That was a brilliant goal. I was going nuts. And I feel you, Igal. I was, you know when that when, when you have to kind of not celebrate after, like, you think, oh, is it going to be one of them days? Then we get ourselves back in the game. Uh, but I feel like our, one of the things I think our team, and uh, this is one, I don't know what you guys think, but we need to be a bit more ruthless with these referees. Martinez grabbed... Jesus in the first five minutes threw him to the floor and didn't even get booked. If he was booked in the first five minutes, that could have been a different game. But Tomini didn't nudge uh, Martinelli. He pushed him a full push. Do you understand? I know Terry said it was a nudge. It wasn't a nudge. It was a full push. Why aren't our players going down, rolling around like these Man United pussies? Do you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's disgraceful. We need to be like a bit more like, oh no, crowd... They all ran to the referee. They knew it was a goal. Man United players knew that was a legitimate goal by Martinelli and they ran to him. And I am salty. I am salty because we should never have lost that game. Do you know what I mean? We played the much better football. We should take more shots in the final area. Like I was looking at some sort of hunt, like 45 touches in the opposition box and only three shots. That's not good enough. Do you know what I mean? But... I'm proud of the way the team formed. It weren't a bruising victory. I'm proud. Like the same that it's such a funny. I, I don't know how to get my thoughts around this game. I don't know if you're feeling the same way. I'm proud of the team, but I can't believe we lost it. And now I've got to deal with all these idiot Mad United fans at work. Saracen, I feel you, bro. I feel you. Don't worry, man. You have yourself a wonderful day. We're just gonna finish off the stream.